Uh, my name is Jacqueline Russell. I am a member of the Navajo Nation and I grew up on my reservation in northeastern Arizona. And I really enjoyed reflecting on this question of when was the first time I felt like I was part of a community. Because for me, this takes me back to being 12 years old and having um, my kennel death ceremony, which is a puberty ceremony that um, Navajo people hold for um, young girls um, when they get their first menstruation. It's a four-day ceremony and um, comes with a lot of responsibility on behalf of both the family, but also the young girl, especially she's seen as being like a, um, a piece of clay so she, the way that she'll act for these four days is the way that she will be for the rest of her life is what we believe and so um, that comes really with the expectation of the fact that you'll be a giving person you'll be somebody who will help your people and so when I was 12 I was really excited about taking part in this ceremony there's a lot of hard work there's um, spiritual um, demands and tests and there's also just a tremendous amount of physicality you're running every day and challenging your body to um, go farther each time and you really are are really thinking about how you want the goodness of your life to unfold and so when I was 12 years old I was really surrounded by not just my nuclear family but in in Navajo culture family is a really big thing and so it was relatives um, that were related by blood to um, my parents and my grandparents but also a lot of individuals who related through our kinship system um, which is um, we all hold four clans and there were just always people coming to our homestead and bringing food and help because as Dine people, as Navajo people, we believe that we heal together, we celebrate together, and that everyone brings their own energy and medicine and through that it helps each other grow stronger. And so being 12 years old and being kind of at the epicenter of this gathering was really a pivotal moment in my life and understanding that I was a very small, significant but small piece in this larger tapestry of community members that were bounded together through kinship. Um, we practice a belief called Keh and Keh is remembering our clanship and remembering how we're related to each other but most importantly, there is a civic responsibility that we respond to every day. So whether that's showing up for ceremony, whether that's holding each other accountable, there's a tremendous amount of power that comes with being a Diné person. And I felt that for the first time when I was 12 years old and really understanding my place amongst my relatives and understanding that as a young Diné, woman, I could make a difference and it was expected of me to do so and so I really enjoyed reflecting on this question and hope that it inspires others to think about ways that they're connected to their family as well. So yeah, thank you.